over the years come by, and, and, and that's always great to see. It's just uh, I, I just hope that they uh, uh, that they've taken as much out of this program uh, and, and being a part of it as we have out of them and being around them. And and I, I just I, I just hope that they're able to put it together this game and and uh, have a game of their lives. Uh, Coach, on the last one for me. Number two team in the country coming into Reeser. Um, is there any? Is there any? You know, we want to play spoiler. I guess giant killers would be the saying around here, right? Is there any inkling of that? Do you feel that way, or are you just taking it like any other game and attacking it? Yeah, no. You know, I think the account. You know, the the the, the, the season as a whole has just been uh, frustrating for us. Uh, you know, we, we come in here and we play a hell of a game against uh, Arizona State. Uh, we go up to Washington and we're plagued by the, the problems that, uh, that 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 hurt us uh, right right away at the beginning of the season, and then you know in the middle, you know the, the big plays. Uh, again, the most important thing here, uh, you know, it's just like the Arizona State game. We weren't worried about them as far as their ranking and, and you know, wh where they were. We were concerned about uh, how we were going to play and, and, uh, and, and playing, you know, play to play and finishing. And, uh, you know, keeping the game under control and, and being in a position in the fourth quarter to have an opportunity to win the game. And that's what we want to do with the Civil War game. Can you talk about Marcus Mariota for a little bit? I mean, potential Heisman candidate. Has to be the biggest challenge you guys have faced defensively all season. Yeah, I, you know, I, I spoke about that earlier as far as he was concerned. Uh, you know, you, you're watching an opponent's film and you're studying, uh, you know, their plays, run, pass, their formations, you know, how you're going to line up, what you're going to do against them. But you just can't keep your eyes off of him. I mean, <clears throat> he makes, you know, one amazing play after another, and it's uh, – uh, you know, it's, it's it's awesome to see in an athlete like that because those athletes only come around once in a lifetime. Even if, even if you have to play them, you just have to really, truly appreciate who they are and what they can do uh, in the game. And, and you know, you, you look forward to seeing them, uh, you know, playing at the next level. But uh, I had an opportunity to see him play in high school, and uh, he was already playing at a at a high level then, a very very similar offense, a little bit more pass oriented, uh, but still, I mean. It was a man amongst boys, and it just wasn't fair. And uh, it, it's gotten to be that way with him right now because, uh, you know, whether it's Michigan State uh, uh, or whether it's Oregon State, I mean, uh, you know, he, he's operating and, and performing at that same level. So uh, we don't want to be too much of an admirer of him. We just want to make sure that uh, we do a good job against him come Saturday. Another offensive weapon, Royce Freeman. I mean, you know, first up with 1,000 rushing yards as a freshman. What, I mean, what are you guys seeing out of him? What's what's your game plan to try to stop that? Yeah, well, he, he he's a he, he's a he's a big he's a big big running back, uh, with speed. You know, really a good downhill runner. We we have to make him redirect. We can't hit let him hit anything directly. We got to put a bump in the way and then you know rally to go get him. You know, we, it's going to take gang tackling. It's going to take very aggressive, firm, hard tackling, and uh, uh, again, just another weapon that uh, that they possess. Go ahead. Oh, Go also, ahead. also has to be the fastest-paced offense that, that you guys have seen this season. Any adjustments at practice or any mental, mentality adjustments for getting back to the play? Well, I, I think that's what it is. It's it's a mentality. We we've seen you know the offenses no huddle, and, and it's become a, a regular a regular situation. But. Uh, you know, they, they stretch the, the rules as far as they can go. I mean, the, the toughest thing is, is getting lined up uh, within a first down within a series because the change half the time when you look at them on the sideline aren't even set. you got to get your guys back to the ball. Uh, so there's an awareness there. You know, our scout team does a good job at trying to you know, go one play after another. You know, our mentality and the conditioning attitude-wise has got to be that, hey, the play doesn't end where the ball carrier is taken down, it, it ends coming back to the line of scrimmage and getting the next call. And and we've done that all year, and, and we just we need to be very, very good at it because it seems this year they're more up-tempo than they have been in, in recent years in utilizing that weapon.